Hi friends, welcome to Aisha's DIY. I just arranged the beads like this. I'm sorry, it's like <laughs> um, it's like a half of a square. Like um, I just want to knot this. This is a necklace project that we are going to see today, uh, and I'm planning to knot these at the intervals between the 10 millimeter gemstone and this. Uh, Fisseter Roundel Crystal. These are from the Nature's Bounty Treasure Box number no. 2 from Gina's uh, Gem Creations ggctreasures.com and this is the these are all the uh, beads that I that came with the box so all of them are with the box i'm just using this chinese knotting cord it's 0.8 millimeter in thickness and it comes like a spool like this i got this from michael's it's a little bit uh, tangled but uh, this is the one that i'm using i just want to show you guys what it is it came with five colors so and i'm using the navy blue one because i think the dark color will enhance this blue a little bit rather than using a light color that's just my opinion you can use any color you want i'm just going to knot it but for knotting uh, i would like to actually thread in all the beads first and then start my process of knotting because i don't want to cut the cord before um before because i approximately i know how much i need but still i'm not so sure so it's always better to actually add your beads first and then start knotting that way you will start from this end and once you knot and go down and you will be able to uh, you will be able to determine how much cord you need for this project so this is a 10 millimeter um, gemstone and this is i think 10 by 8 millimeter faceted a roundel crystal in the gray color it's a really pretty color so i'm just going to thread in all my beads so i just wanted a little bit of a focal not a lot so i added these three beads that came in the treasure box i really like this this way i am adding a metallic element but it is not a way too proper focal i just want this necklace to be a a really nice one that you can wear every day day-to-day -day life without any problems in any outfit you want it has the gray element so you can use um in most of your uh it will match most of most of your outfits uh gray black white silver gold these are the ones that goes along with everything so this would be a perfect necklace uh for any outfit so um i just thought these would be very nice for knotting because it's 10 millimeter and first i thought i would make a bracelet but i had enough beads to make this so why not utilize this like this rather than um having just a bracelet it's a little bit uh challenging to thread the metal beads as it has a lot of holes in it but i think you can do it let me just see if i can it's the cord is going in a different hole It is a bit of a challenge, but we have other ways to actually put it in. Take a piece of cord. Okay. 
and then you can use a wire too for this There we go. So, threading in all the beads. This has different striation and color combination. And the same thing here. I need to do it with a wire or so. I can do it with a wire so you don't have to do with that you can do it with a wire or thread whichever you have available i'm just gonna cut myself a little bit of this wire it is 26 gauge wire i believe so just make it fold it into two i have about say three to four inches and i fold this into two I put the cord inside this, like, just like that. Then take mine two ends and then put it inside the bead. Just like that and pull it. It will be easy for you to put this cord through. Now I shall add the next bead. When it comes to this metallic bead, all you need to do is put this as if you are threading a needle and then take this two ends and because it's stiff it's much more easier to thread through pull these through and we are good to go so i'll continue finish threading all the beads and come back Welcome back. I finished threading all the beads and I would like to leave a tail for myself. So the tail should be at least say 7 to 8 inches just in case. I am leaving this tail just in case because um, I am not so sure how I want to end this necklace either as like a lobster claw clasp or a toggle clasp and or I can do a um, uh, sliding knot. I haven't decided it. So I'm leaving 8 inches of tail. And start my knotting process. Just move all the beads. Just go around once. And then come back through that. And just knot right there. And now you move the first bead towards the knot. Take it around, put this bead inside the knot, okay, and then move uh, it to the side. Now you're holding it and then change your finger. This is one type of knotting you can do with the uh, tweezers, with um, bead alone knotting tool or with hands. But with a Chinese knotting cord, I believe that um, hand knotting is the best. It's easy. So just make a knot, make a loop with your two fingers and then insert whatever you knotted inside and then remove this. I'm holding this cord, the one that I have beads in, on my right and then on my left, I have this loop created and then I move it. I just tighten this can you see that i just tighten this hold on top okay hold it on top remove my fingers and then knot it so the knot is right next to your bead without any problems so now loop it put all your beads inside take this cord to your left to your right and then now whenever you're you're tightened up and the knot is right next to it you change your fingers 
hold tight make a tension over here and then hold it on top and then pull it there we go or not just right next to the bead so i will continue doing the knot i have couple more videos that came recently on my channel regarding this knotting so i have explained this in detail there so if you want you guys can go ahead and watch that or you can watch me knot here so it's very easy without any tool and the chinese knotting cord is very very um, useful for this technique rather than the silk cord i feel the silk cord the thicker ones are fine but the thinner ones i don't feel comfortable knotting with the hands i always don't get bed stressors whichever is comfortable for you is the one that you need to work with if the knotter tool the beetle on knotter tool um which is right here is um is the one that you want to do that's absolutely your choice all you need to do is put it here and then um, thread your knot or tool just like so bring it all the way here hold it across your v and then deliver the knot right there so this is one method that you can use you can use your tweezers the tweezer method is also easy but um as i said i prefer this one upon all of that this is easy for me but it takes a little bit practice but once you do one or two necklace this method should be an easy method for you then all of the other methods but for silk thread i opt to use the knot at all because that seems to be much more easier and it gave me the desired results that i prefer so you need to change your techniques according to um, your methods which is easy for you not necessarily all these method is easy for everyone so everyone prefers a different uh, everyone's comfort zone is different and but once you learn this knot i guess this technique it's very easy to do it and it's also the fastest one i guess so make attention and then so your hands might hurt as you can see it's leaving a dent on my fingers but that's what happens but if you don't have that tension holding on your thumb then the knot will not be delivered on right where you want it might be a little bit loose so when you do this oops see daisy okay you have to maintain that tension and it should be tight enough when you pull this then you change your fingers and hold it right there with your thumb and that's how you do it yeah There we go change your fingers pull it through take your fingers off and knot so i'll continue knotting the same technique i'll finish doing it and come back this is the same thing that we need to do for the entire necklace but um i feel you guys might be tired watching me do this but it's very 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 um uh what to say very very um repetitive process and it's also like really therapeutic is what i think uh the knotting once you start making this once you get a technique which you are comfortable with then you would love to knot necklaces 
it's really really therapeutic it's like meditation it's like yoga you can think it's like something that you do repetitive and it's a nice feeling once you're done so There's a little gap here. I'll go ahead and fix when that. When I came to this metal bead, I feel that the metal bead will go on top of my knot. So I'm thinking of making another knot. I don't know if I'm making a mistake or so. But um, I will try to make another knot which can be delivered on top of that knot as such. But it is just a trial. If it doesn't work, I will not do so. Because um, yeah, there you go. Delivered a big, huge knot. And then I put the metal beads now. Now there will be a little bit of a difference in this. Uh, and I don't know if it looks good or not. It doesn't. So what I will do is I will trade it doesn't look good so I don't want to do that it's okay for me if it is you know if it goes up on top of my knot but it is your choice if you like this way you need it uh, that way then you can do it's your choice how you want to do it so now I'll take it off push my metal bead down and do the same thing I'm not going to do a bigger knot uh, Continue doing the same for the rest of the necklace and I'll come back. So I went ahead and finished knotting everything. Uh, this is the last bead that I need to knot. So I just make a loop. I drop everything inside that loop. Pull everything up. Because it's now long, it takes some time for you to put this through. But you can do it take it just like so reduce the loop change your fingers and pull through so i have knotted the complete thing when i measured this this is about 15 inches so 15 inches is not uh, enough for to go around my neck and have a little bit down because i want this a little bit down you can i don't have any more of these beads but if you do have these because i used it in another project so if you have um, uh, all those beads then you can do this necklace as long as you want since i don't have any of these roundels nor the um, gemstones because i made two necklaces um, with it already so i'm going to either use this one right here uh, as my end or I can do a sliding knot uh, I'm thinking I will just add this and see if I can make a couple of knots if not I will do the sliding knots yes I can so I'm just going to do a knot here so So that's this bead right here I still have some of these left so I'm just going to add a couple more 
and I have these small roundels as well so that's that so I have knotted and I am going to do the same here but I need to actually cut it now that I know the distance I will just cut a little bit more than this and then snip it off like about 10 inches or so and snip it off so now I will burn this end and then add one roundel here make a knot and one more bead right here then I'm going to make a sliding knot So there we go that's the end of it if you want you can add more um, we need some to overlap this and then do the sliding knot but apart from that you can add more I'm planning to add a little bit more not a lot but at least one more set is what my thought process is that will give me additional length and then I will have sufficient enough to overlap for doing the sliding knot as well right so I'm just going to use this because the beads are not big and it's very hard to hold your thumb on top of a small bead so I think that's good enough I'll do the same the other side as well I have made already multiple necklaces with this nature's bounty treasure box go ahead and watch in my channel I'll probably create a playlist for that so that it's easy for you guys to access that all the videos that I made with the Nature's Bounty box. Planning to make, I already made one bracelet, three necklaces. This is, I think, the fourth necklace, uh, maybe third. Yeah. And I need to make more bracelets and uh, earrings. I made just one earrings, one tutorial. So here we go. I have additional. Um, thread but it is always good to use a little bit more than less yeah you can just do more so there is a lot of cord left why waste the cord even the scrap cords I always keep it around um, I just saw, sorted these uh, findings that I got from this treasure box in this um, so it's easy for me to take it and use it so I know for sure exactly how much beads I have left over so I have some of these which I can uh, use it and then some of these roundels left over and more of these beads also so I'll pick them and I'll start knotting 
so you don't have to do this if you have the bigger uh, one you can go ahead and just knot the bigger beads and then just do a sliding knot at the end which i'm going to do right now and show you guys um, there is a lot of options to finish this necklace you can make it as long as you want provided if you add more beads for example i added only two of these beads so you can add one more element so three beads in a row and then continue the pattern that way you can make a long necklace like a sweater necklace um, or so there we go and just checking how many I add at the other side I want to do the same number this side as well okay now the sliding knot part it is so simple all you need to do is have some uh, cord I'm gonna take about an 8 inch cord not more than that So here we go i just put it underneath you can tape here and then do it um, i need to move this and come back here's my necklace and i'm gonna keep it like this and then i'm gonna take some painters tape and then just tape these together want it right next to each other okay just like so that way you can start if you have a binders clip you can To the end of the thing with the binders clip just like so and then Keep it tight here. I'll start with the Q. This is square knot, a macrame square knot, and I hope everybody is aware of that. If you don't, I have basic macrame knots in my channel that you can go ahead and watch, or else this is my P's and Q's that I'm making. That's one full square knot. make sure it's tight and then continue making your knots if you have a clipboard or a or a macrame board this would be really really easy couple of knots that's all you need I would do as long as I can with this cord that I have available so anyways I have cut it so I'm gonna use it that's it I 
I finished making the square knots. Now I can just slip these two off. Not very close, but just a little bit over here and there. And then I'll take these off, the tape off. And I'm going to take my lighter and burn the ends. Actually, I can cut a little bit more. On both the ends. There we go. So this is our sliding knot as you can see. This slides together and we have these ends. So in the ends what I'm thinking is I am just going to add this roundel and this one six by four, three by four and a 3 by 4 hematite color and I'm going to make an overhand knot just like so just like so and then bring all of these here and then I'll make a knot aft before that also so that it doesn't slide off as much as we want. If you want it to be sliding, then go ahead and do that. Or else do this so that it's nice and secure right there. Okay. I'll do the same to the other end. And then once I do that, I'll burn the ends so that it's nice and secure and the knots won't come off all three beads and then you should make a knot right where the other one is right so over here so i'm going to go ahead and do that And then cut this off and move all of these and do one more knot right here just before the beads and I would like to use the knotting tool to deliver the knot right there okay now what I'm going to do is set these off burn the ends is ready i hope you guys like this video if you do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit the bell icon for notification i do upload videos almost every day it comes around 5 p.m pacific Sunday time thanks so much for watching have a good day bye